goodness, I think we got it. Swag Archer, Swag Minion. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the World Championship showed us that we have some of the best players in the world and they just keep getting better. Queen Walkers, where I think many of you thought they were gonna walk away with the victory, had such a strong go and such great defensive bases, particularly for the very end, um, the final day, but it was not enough to hold off JX Tiger. Those box bases that tripped up Tribe, not enough for JX, and they did get the perfect war and win. And with that, we're actually getting an awesome challenge mode where you get to go up against some of the best base building around from Queen Walkers, but with Mox Attack in where he was able to get that final clutch win. Well, maybe not clutch because it was a perfect war, but he was able to finish off with a beautifully strong victory for JX Tiger. Now I will tell you, this particular attack strategy is difficult because it's all about timing, precision, and placement. So we're gonna go over a little bit of that. I'm gonna show you how I did it. You can get the link to the YouTube video where you see Ma going in with that final attack. This is what I based it off of. It's in the description below, but I am gonna show you some key placement things throughout the video of what to do. So the biggest thing here is we're gonna talk over a little bit about those things that we wanna do, what not to do, and I wanna give you just a brief overview. It starts off with sending in the blue limp into the scattershot compartment. You do have to be mindful of this air sweeper, of course, just th that could push things back. And you want to get it into that compartment, not only so that you can clear it out with the rage, but so you can get the CC lure. You're also going to use a baby dragon to help shape up the funnel. Queen's going to go on this nine o'clock side, take care of those CC troops. And you're going to start her push in towards this uh, air defense mortar compartment leading up to the queen. So sneaky goblins come in for the mines. So you have three super wall breakers to get your opportunity in. The first one should actually come in and hit like the side compartment of the wall here right next to the mortar so you can get a better funnel coming in and taking down the air defense. While that's going on you do need to focus on your queen. Once she makes the approach getting towards the defending AQ here you want to get the rage down fast because she's going to come into tangles with the defending AQ. Once she makes the approach getting towards the defending AQ here is when you can send in your next wall breaker to get the corner compartment open and have her move her along that on her way. Now, once that's starting to work through and you know that the queen's on that approach, you can drop your king on the bottom side of the base. We are gonna use some sneaky goblins to set up some of the funnels here, um, but we're gonna use the giants to help tank because we want the king to move his way to that town hall side. So we have to reserve a couple of sneaky goblins as well for the storages here, just to create his pathing. Now you're gonna reserve one of the dragon riders to help the queen with the push. And that is very, very, very important for keeping the timing going the way it needs to go. And by the time that's all done, the king might be down for the count um, and you'll pop your queen's ability to try and get through. You need to get that royal champion down, the eagle down, the warden tower, This not the entire compartment, but the majority of it. And your royal champ can cut through from the six o'clock side of the base coming in with the three remaining dragon riders and the warden uh, coming up through from the three o'clock side, well, three to four o'clock side. And at that point, I found it's easiest to try and invest most of your, well, all of your rages, but most of your freezes in with the queen to keep her alive. And then you'll want to reserve, if you can, two freezes and the invisibility spell. Now, Mock does actually use the invisibility spell for his queen to redirect the pathing, but I like having it just to give the royal champion and the dragon riders a little extra bump here. So let's actually go into this. So, Coco Loons, get our blimp in, get ready to drop and pop. There we go. Drop that down, queen here, sneaky gobs, and let's get some minions in. Let's get this wizard ready. Hold up. Oh, there we go. Good wizard. Good wizard. So we really want that hound pulling um, because it keeps a queen just a little bit further down. And I'm going to invest one more minion here. Not that I want them to go for the archers. Get that poison down. Get the spread. Beautiful spread. There we go. Okay, so we want to get a rage down again, as I mentioned, fast. Because as a queen makes that approach to the defending queen, 
Uh, she's taking on a lot of damage, and we want her full health as she meets up with the defending... Oops. BK, this is what... Oh, there we go. We did get the wall break open. Phew. Okay, so that's going pretty well. Let's get our BK in. Sneaky Goblin's ready to go because that means we can send in a Dragon Rider. We gotta get a Headhunter down. Try and help this queen out. And we have this invisibility spell left over, which is really nice. The Drag Rider on the outskirts is actually perfect because... Here, we're gonna do that. And while this is going, let's actually send in our Royal Champion because the King is actually providing a lot of tank right now. And I think we're gonna send in our Loons. I want the king providing this awesome tank here. Queen. Okay. Try and hold on to this warden ability just a little bit deeper through. Here we go. I would have loved to have just a little bit more out of that royal champion. So let's start getting cleanup down. There are traps in the core of the base, so you have to be very careful. I'm going to hang on to an extra one. We've got 46 seconds left to go. This is actually looking mighty fine because we've got the king. We've got a couple drag riders. Royal champ's going to go down for the count, but we have what we need coming into this. Let's do that. My goodness, I think we got it. I think... We've got it. This is exactly why we're holding on to the minions. Let's get another one here in place. And there we go. We even have the headhunter coming through. Do I have swag archer, swag minion? <laughs> swag archer, swag minion. I mean, if you can get the royal champ going fuller sooner, that actually really helps. And that's what's going to get you going through with this. Um, with the initial replay that I show, I didn't do it that way, but I think holding on to that invisibility spell, not for the end, but actually using it for your queen, which gives you a little bit more breathing room to send in your royal champion, is the way that you want to go about this. Hands down, that is going to be the approach for people who maybe aren't as comfortable with the multitasking on this level. But I want to know what you guys think. I want to know how these attacks go for you if this guide helps or if there was a different approach because often we actually see people kind of switching it up a little bit or tweaking it i mean i tweaked this from where mock did it so we could have that additional invisibility spell and i know i know we're going to get those overachievers um particularly from the pro community that can swag left and right with it um but i really do want to hear your feedback what you thought about the challenge and um how many times it took you if you were able to do it where you're struggling but uh, that's about it for now. Congrats to JX Tiger for an exceptional performance. And again, this really shows us how incredibly powerful of a team they are. Such a well-deserved victory. Kudos to them and equally, Kudos to Queen Walkers for this excellent base build because this is not going to be an easy one. You guys should definitely try and um, copy the, some of these bases. You can get them over on the Esports COC um, Twitter page. JX Tiger has some of their bases up. So I really think um, if you want to try and trip people up, this definitely is going to be one that could do it. And of course, you can always just drop um, different trap placements to really mess with people if they expect a certain way to go about this. Um, but don't forget to uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. And if you do want some free bases, head over to my Discord server. Link is in the description below, courtesy of Blueprint Base Building. Uh, we do have monthly bases. And for my Twitch subscribers, they get free weekly bases. Plus, uh, we need to do a giveaway this month. So if you get in there fast, we're going to be doing a base giveaway from Blueprint and maybe a couple more goodies as we get closer to the holidays. That's about it for now. Until next time, this is Lady V. I'll catch you guys later.